Hello friends, welcome to the VS Code Guy. Today we are going to learn and deploy our project on the very famous GitHub. We will see what is Git, we will also see what is GitHub and how we can use both Git and GitHub to deploy our projects and make Git repositories. So first of all, let me head to Chrome and search Git SCM. Now the Git SCM this is the official site git is a free and open source free and open source means anyone from anywhere can deploy to it can contribute to it distributed version control system now what the heck does this means version control system it means that git can be considered as a system which maintains different versions of your project or system or files whatever you're talking about as a project whenever you delete some files you add some files or whenever you add some features delete some features update some features a new version or a new instance let me say a new instance of that project is made and that is known as version so git makes sure when you're working with git the git makes sure that you are updated with that version which you are working with so it is a free and open source distributed version control system for handling everything from large project to small projects with speed and efficiency that's true so less of a talk so let me head over to the vs code and in this tutorial we will see how we can make git repositories by two ways first is by using the vs code source terminal source control and second is by using the all terminal vs code terminal okay let me head over to method one so this is a normal project it has contracts inbox.sol it has test libraries compile.js and whatnot so this is my simple project now let me head to source control this it says please install git or learn more about how to use git so git is not installed in our machine so let me install git now i head over to git git scm the same very page now it says latest resource download 2.25.1 for windows i'm gonna download it it's downloading Now once it has installed, let me install Yes And then preamble and then next It says installation directory C program files git And that is fine Next And no need to touch all these options Just click here next And next And then next and then next A lot of next next install finally install it's extracting file to see program files git once this is over we'll see the two methods how to make git repositories okay it's not complete i hit next and now so in the method one we will use the source control option of git but unfortunately you will see that i have opened a project which is having git already installed in it so all these files are already stashed to the git repository so let me open another folder or another let me restart first let me open another project which is not having git installed in it so i'm opening demo one and you can see this is not having git installed in it the folder currently open does not have a git repository initialize the repository then i will go to initialize the repository this is method one initializing repository now we'll see all these files that you were seeing before the project i opened here recently the, it was having these files these are staged file these are not staged yet but these will be staged so now i have git installed in it so before using git 
go to settings and then search for git enable just to make sure that your vs code is enabled for git is enabled for using git this option git enabled so if it's unticked take it and if it's ticked then it's fine now your vs code is ready for using the git and this is uh, compile.gdeploy.js json these are unstashed so let me here this is the message box here you can type anything like banana anything like uncle sam uncle sam and anything you want the error message though sorry uh, the commit message you want to air appear on your git repository so let me add uh, from source control this is git and this is the commit button this is the refresh button and this is more actions here we will see pull push and much more commit all discard all changes and a list of inputs and output including show git output what is the output going on in the git so let me head to this now uh, the fourth option that is the push beneath the pull from this push let me hit push and it says it complains your repository has no remote configured to push to it means i have not added a remote repository so let me head to that and let me search github.com github.com and here's an official site for github.com if you're a new user then go up and go and sign up create an account i already have an account so i'll sign up into mine i'll type in my username and password then signing in and this is what looks like a github dashboard it shows all the projects that you have made all the repositories these are git repositories and this is the panel and inside here we have your profile this is the profile so let me head over to git dashboard and make a new repository hit new it's repository name you can since this is demo one so i'm gonna name it demo one description uh, description from source control it should be okay and it says public or private it lets you choose between public and private repositories public repositories anyone can see edit and contribute to your repositories and private means only you and only you can see edit and contribute no one else can so let me be fine with public add a git now i will do it later create repository it's creating the repository now it says set up in desktop i have set up in desktop for this i need to install i have you need to install github desktop we'll see what github desktop works like in the next video but let me see you see you show you how this works now this is the HTTPS this is the link of my repository let me copy it I have copied it and let me switch to VS code it's still complaining your repository has no remotes configured so I'll just unlisten to it for a minute now open command palette control shift P command palette and search for add remote and it pops up like this it says remote name you can add anything you want since this is demo one i will name it demo one and the remote url enter the url from remote demo one means the repository demo one that you copied the link https paste it and then hit enter and now you saw a yellow line going from here to here now let me first of all before pushing let me commit all the changes because that's very necessary i'm gonna hit the tick button it's committing now it has been committed and you can see down in the output that something went from here to here so something has done has been updated okay you can do one thing you can push from here uh, you have two options you can either push the repository from here or you can click this cloud button here i'll zoom in this cloud button demo one push 
now I'm hitting this cloud button and it's rotating and still rotating it's pushing in my code to the repository and it stopped now you know what the repository has been made so now control R or refresh and now the repository has been made inside contracts I have inbox inbox dot sol inside test I have inbox test gs so the same files I have inside these inside my final project inbox dot sol test inside test it has inbox dot test dot gs just like it is here like package or this one and package log dot this one so this is how you can add a git repository you can make a git repository and add your existing code to your git repository from the source control and without using the terminal in the next method we will see how you can make a git repository while using a terminal